In a Counter-Strike match, information can mean the difference between success or failure. As a result, smoke grenades have become a cornerstone of team tactics. With Counter-Strike 2's new game engine, we've evolved smokes and made them dynamic. Smoke grenades now create volumetric 3D objects that live in the world. Now, not only do all players see the same smoke regardless of position, but the smoke can interact with the environment in interesting ways. It reacts to lighting, grows to fill spaces naturally. The shape of the smoke cloud can be pushed and carved by bullets and grenades. In Counter-Strike 2, smoke grenades provide even more tactical opportunities. They're just going to look and play better. With over 20 years of history, maps are a fundamental pillar of Counter-Strike. And in Counter-Strike 2, maps are getting a new look. But don't worry, you can still bring along your countless hours honing strategies and exploiting every corner and crevice. We took three approaches to improving maps while retaining their rich legacy. First, there are touchstone maps. Classic maps with solid foundations that players can use to evaluate gameplay changes from CSGO to Counter-Strike 2. These have improvements to lighting and character read, but otherwise haven't been changed. Next, we have upgrades. These are maps that use new Source 2 lighting, including a physically-based rendering system that produces realistic materials, lighting, and reflections. And finally, overhauls. The oldest maps have been fully rebuilt from the ground up, leveraging all of the Source 2 tools and rendering features. These tools will be available for community map makers to make it easier to build, experiment, and iterate. With upgrades to lighting, player read, and materials in Counter-Strike 2, even the familiar will feel brand new. Counter-Strike is known for its visceral and satisfying gunplay. Now firing a weapon looks pretty simple. You click your mouse, your character shoots, your target takes damage. But there's a lot more happening behind the scenes. In previous versions of Counter-Strike, the game only evaluated moving and shooting in discrete time intervals, or ticks, and time between those ticks didn't exist. For the most part, the experience was seamless. But sometimes those milliseconds between click and tick could be the difference between landing or missing your shot. That's why with Counter-Strike 2, we're introducing sub-tick updates. Now the tick rate no longer matters for moving and shooting, so the server will know the exact moment you fired your shot, jumped your jump, or peaked your peak. And the server will calculate your precise actions between ticks. So what you see is what you get. 